Home Life and Style is brought to you by the Pine Hills, offering inspired new homes and daily adventures just 45 minutes from Boston. Ethan Allen, every detail matters. Longfellow Design Build, architect and builder for Cape Cod and beyond. Snow and Jones, a fixture in New England homes since 1952. And by Classic Tile and Stone, your tile and stone destination. Hi, I'm Parker Kelly. Welcome to Home Life and Style. I am passionate about design, food, and travel. I love discovering new places, meeting new people, and sharing who they are, how they live, and what they love. In each episode, I'll introduce you to a new destination through the eyes of the people who call it home. Join me as we celebrate these towns, these people, these homes in style. Today I'm on my way to the scenic Northeast Kingdom of Vermont, to the town of Greensboro, a rural community about 70 miles east of the city of Burlington, Vermont, and about 40 miles to the Canadian border. Greensboro is made up of two villages, and combined, the year-round population is somewhere around 700, and more than doubles in the summer months. Greensboro has farms, forests, open land, and lakes beautiful churches, a general store, and miles of outdoor recreation trails and nature preserves. I'm on my way to meet my friend and interior designer, Wendy, in her 1920s shingle-style camp that sits on beautiful Caspian Lake. Wendy has enjoyed this summer camp with its original rustic charm for nearly 10 seasons. The five-bedroom, 1,600-square-foot camp is Wendy's perfect getaway, only 40 minutes from Stowe, Vermont, where she lives and has her design headquarters. Wendy grew up in British Columbia and has always been drawn to the mountains and the lakes as they remind her of home. Since we already knew each other, we decided to mix it up a bit. Wendy asked me to dress for an early paddle. She said the best way to understand what makes this place so special to her is to start by meeting this pristine lake. Our morning couldn't have been more perfect. Sweet. Hi, 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 h
You've worked long and hard, built a career, a life, knowing that one day, with a little luck, you'll have time. At Longfellow Design Build, we design and build new homes. New kitchens. New additions to your home. We handle everything from conception to completion. Working in unison with you, for you, so you can have the home you envision. So you can have the home you deserve. So you can focus on what's important. Longfellow Design Build, architect and builder for Cape Cod and beyond. Oh, and hi. Hi, how are you? <laughs> nice, how are you? Uh, Thanks for the welcoming committee. There she is. Full well, time no see. No kidding, just this morning. <laughs> you uh, see you. look lovely, lovely. Thank you. And finally, I get to see your home. Oh, yeah, this will be fun, won't it? A yeah. little different. The ride in uh, from uh, Highland Lodge was epic. Was it? Yeah. Kind of scary, but probably, fun. Probably <laughs> equal to the epic we're going to see in your home. Oh, well, we'll see. It's kind of a little cute. Yeah. Just a little cute place. And so I, yeah. is this the front of the house or the back of the house? Because well, sometimes people call the lake front the front. We call the lake front the front, and that's we call the back. I mean, it's just that's what my grandmother did. how it goes, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And the breeze is really lovely here oh. on the lake. Yeah, because that's why we're, we're on the wind, we call it Windermere, wind and sun and water. Oh, okay. So, for, okay. Yeah, for so ocean. you get ocean mm -hmm. and you get wind, and so we always have no bugs. Your flowers are lovely. Thank you. Your awesome. light the garden are lovely. lovely. Kind of funky. Yeah. Nothing, <laughs> nothing precious here. Yeah. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it. And I love the screen door. I know, the squeak, the You slap. never want to fix that. The, I'm never <laughs> fixing it. All the flowers we picked out of the garden at the house in Stowe. Oh, you did? Yeah. And uh, as you can see, it's a total eclectic mix of stuff. Yes, but so with intention. It was fun to yeah. do. Yeah. I mean, just a myriad of patterns and everything's just playing very well together. Well, thanks. Yeah, yeah it, it, was, it was a happy surprise <laughs> on yeah. some level. All the wicker in everywhere is old Bar Harbor wicker in the 1800s, yeah. Haywood Wakefield. Um, all of the colored linens that you're seeing are either from Paris, from a company that I use that does a lot of uh, original things for us, or they're from the 40s. And uh, it's just fun and bright and cheery. You know, notice that all of your beds are super welcoming. I yeah. try to do that. And I like everything white so you know it's fresh and clean. And um, I gathered all of these old sheets when I was in Paris, and then I made them into duvet covers. So they have the old monograms on them mm. and things. So they're, you're sleeping on 200 year old sheets. Perfectly it's gorgeous. Just kind of fun. So this room, quite dramatic. Yeah, we, I went for a big piece of art in here just to give it a little more pizzazz. Um, and then I've been collecting old paint by numbers. Remember doing that when you were a kid? I do, sadly, I, I do. I just like I know. <laughs> dating so myself. I've been collecting them, and eventually, when I get enough, I'll fill this whole room with paint by numbers, and I'll take this out, and it'll be wall to wall paint by number. Now, where's this artist from? This is John Van Arso. He's awesome. He's from uh, upstate New York, but he paints in New York City and New Orleans. So I have several of his pictures, and I use them at clients' houses because they're just Powerful. off the wall. Yeah. I love yeah. it. Again, lots to see. I can see why you're drawn to it, too. Yeah. So they're petite and sweet. That's what I was thinking about as well. Oh, cute. Yeah. Yes, they are. Yeah, they're little, and but you know, what I like about it is there's a lot of them. And I think people like it. They have a little privacy. They're, they're, not, they're not doing a lot in them. That's it. Hooks, hang your stuff on a hook. If you really need a drawer, throw something in a drawer. 
and you have a lamp, you can read, and we have, you know, technology you can plug in, yeah. which is a new addition because I swore off, the, off of that. But then it just got to a place where you had to. Yeah. Oh, wait you see this funky little bathroom. Okay. <laughs> it's really shoehorned in there. All okay. right. <laughs> oh, look at this. L on the ceiling is wallpaper. Yeah, that's the thing that I do often is wallpaper ceilings. And what's your philosophy behind that? I just feel like, I, you know, when you do a powder room, it should be a jewel box. It should be wrapped. So I often do that. So when people come in, it's like, wow, there's a lot going on in this little place. So actually, this is my room because it has the air conditioner, which I love. It has dead on view out to the lake. And when we have a lot of people here, I'll move down to one of the other rooms mm -hmm. and we will sleep six or eight up here. Oh, yes. We'll put more blow up beds, the kids will come up here. We'll sleep at least four up here. So we just, you know, it's not, I, what I don't want here is to people, for people to feel like they can't come in in a bathing suit. They can't just relax, they can't do whatever. So I try to keep it on the down low, but it's kind of yeah. a little bit she -she. A little, Yeah, a little she -she. <laughs> So this is, this is glamping then. This, this is, is not, glamping. This isn't really camping. This, <laughs> this is really my camp. idea of camping, <laughs> but it's glamping. Yes. And so the space, I mean, with that many friends coming over and that many dinner parties you're being thrown. It's a juggling you act. Move, you move. Yeah, and you know, I have barbecues and smokers out back, and then I have the pizza oven and the open fire pit, which is a rotisserie. So, oh, it is? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, often I'll have things cooking in the pizza oven, something on the rotisserie, the smokers are going, and then we're, pre we're prepping salads and everything in here. And it's, you know, we turn out dinner for 25, 30 easy out of here. Yeah. How many are coming tonight? You know, tonight will be about 10. 10. Yeah. Even when Wendy is relaxing, there's no stopping this creative force. Instead of finding a local chef to come in and whip up a dinner party with us, Wendy planned on doing it all in-house, so to speak. No sooner had we finished the camp tour and we were off to get all of the ingredients we'd need for the party. First stop, the butchery back in Stowe. As I said, it's only about 40 minutes from the lake. The butchery is her go-to butcher shop, fishmonger and fromagerie. We got some gorgeous looking salmon, they're about this size. Perfect. Eight to ten ounces each. Mm. That's awesome. Okay, great. Thank Thanks you. And you got my lobster too, right? Lobster, parmesan, and your balsamic. Great. You guys are the best. Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> also picked up some specialty sandwiches as we were going to need the fuel for this action-packed day. Back in Greensboro, Wendy wanted to pick up some cloth-bound cheddar, an award-winning cheese from Jasper Hill Farm. Jasper Hill Farm is not open to the public and rarely to the media, but we were given a special inside tour. Cheese is their business, and they take it very seriously. So the process, right. sort of from beginning to end, um, where is that done? You said at Cabot? Yes. So Cabot makes the cheese, and they put cloth on it. We receive it, and then we'll put an additional layer of lard on the outside. So it's very unique. Um, it's not exactly like all the cheddar you see in the grocery store. It has extra flavor. And so the, the uh, is that cold air coming out in here? Um, that's a mist. A mist. Um, yeah, it's just a mist to keep the cheese moisturized, make sure the humidity is at the right place for the cheese. Every cave has its own humidity and temperature control, so we can bring that cheese to its best self. And so how many wheels of cheese in all, in all seven combined, would you say? Oh, I Many. That's a great question. Yeah. There's a ton. There's a lot. I know we receive one million pounds of cheese every year through the door, and we get one million pounds back out the door. Oh, wow. wow. One million, million pounds. Yes. So we're going to be stuffing jalapenos, jalapenos and wrapping them in bacon. Yeah, local bacon is going to yes. be delicious. And then it's cooking perfect. them in the uh, wood burning oven. Oh my gosh. So good. That's going to be so delicious. Yes. <laughs> just about the fixtures. Snow and Jones, the family-owned business that contractors and homeowners on the South Shore and Cape Cod have depended on since 1952. In 
the overall aesthetic of the Vine Hills has a quality that's that's very high. I mean, when you first started walking the, the the grounds, the landscaping, you said it has to be spectacular because the, the land is spectacular. Well, the, the land is spectacular, and it, it starts with trying to see where the land is telling us to build. Uh, we are crafting the right location for, for the home to sit in to view that woods or water or uh, mm -hmm. a beautiful tree or the horizon or even the ocean. And our job is to try and utilize the grade in the trees to create that kind of privacy so that as one moves from neighborhood to neighborhood and sometimes even from home to home, that there are these pieces of nature that frame your view or change the way in which you perceive the homes that you're seeing. I've worked with Christian and Julie for about seven years now, about 30 projects. They care as much as I do about the finished product. And every time I walk in, I'm always like, girls, what do we have new? And they always have things set aside to show me. And it's, every time I go there, it's so exciting. They text me pictures as soon as tile comes in that they think is really exciting. Like uh, Even on a Saturday, I'll get a text and they'll know that I'm just as excited to see it as they are to share it. And so they're, they're my go-to. Recognized and respected. Classic tile and stone on Boston's South Shore. Wendy describes Greensboro as the heart of the Vermont organic movement. And to her point was Pete's Greens, our next stop. Our mission, to pick up fresh produce for the night's dinner. And I mean fresh. Pete's Greens is a certified organic four season vegetable farm growing about 200 varieties of vegetables on more than 300 acres of fertile, nutrient-rich Vermont soil. Pete's Greens helps keep the agricultural economy alive in this area, and the restaurants, schools, and folks who consume these veggies are investing right back into their community. Local, sustainable, and well, way more than green. This honor system farm stand was stocked full. We had a delicious selection to choose from. Where do we start? So normally I come here and I'll, I'll start right in the cooler. And they have, of course, all the stuff that I use. One of them, of course, we are, have some cloth-bound cheddar. And then I just pick up a few things out of here. The killer organic dill pickles. Those look good. So I buy whatever. I mean, it's, it's just wonderful. And everything is organic all done right around here. And then you put it in your bag, which I'll show you how we end up at the end here. Now, do they grow it right on this roof, all of this? They grow it down. They have all the greenhouses and all the fields. It's really fabulous. So then, once you do this, oh, and we're we're gonna do a bunch of jalapeno poppers for dinner tonight. Oh, yes. So we're gonna do some of these. Oh, that's gonna have the uh, cloth-bound cheddar? Yes, I have cloth-bound cheddar and some local bacon. So we check what, how much scallions are. Did you see there? Um, 275. So you just write it on here. It's crazy. Radishes are 275. Those look gorgeous. Don't they look beautiful? I want to eat one of those right now. They look so tasty. And then I always write them a little note. I always write thank you <laughs> for being a farmer. Uh, always. Oh, that felt so. Yeah, it's great, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Just one of the great things of Vermont. You know? While Wendy made her way back to the camp to get things going, she asked me to stop at Hills Farmstead Brewery, a place of history and handcrafted beer. After all of our inspirational errand running, I've headed back to Highland Lodge, where I was staying, to freshen up for dinner. I had a little more time before Wendy's friend Phil was due to pick me up and take me back to the camp, giving me the opportunity to chat with Heidi, the owner of the lodge. And so um, the view from up here is quite spectacular. Yeah, the, um, the story goes that the original developers who thought they were going to get really rich here in Vermont developing all these cabins <laughs> yeah. uh, actually cut these roads so that each, each cabin would have a spectacular view of the lake. Oh, this is beautiful. So pretty. 
Yeah, the lilacs bloom in June. Oh yeah. And Such a special time. Oh, that must be just so beautiful to smell as you walk through. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> so we'll go up on, go up here to the porch. A well-used, very old porch. <laughs> yes, right? this is, this is uh, part of our 1860s farmhouse yeah. that, um, that makes up the lodge here. It's, yeah, it's called the lodge, but it's really just a farmhouse that's had rooms added and things tinkered with over the years, but it's, we love it and it's been here for a long time, so. And so are there lots of places to stay in this area? Or are you like the only game in no, town? No, we're, we're, we're one of the only ones that, I think a lot of bed and breakfast had issues after the dot-com bubble and, and sort of the age of the internet, yeah. just sort of adjusting to the new culture, the Airbnb culture. Mm -hmm. And so we're one of the only professional bed and breakfasts in, in quite, quite a large radius. And how many rooms do you have total? We have 10 rooms in the lodge and 10 cabins, and uh, the longest private beach on Lake Caspian, and award-winning ski trails in the winter, and gorgeous fall foliage. You just can't beat it. Sounds like you made a, a good choice. <laughs> a really good choice. Well, and so did we in staying here. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> yes, and have a great time at Wendy's. Yeah, thank and, you, thank you. Uh, and we'll see you on your next trip up to the kingdom. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, and to toast on that. Yes. <laughs>、Hey. Parker, welcome to Vermont Ethan Allen. Thank you. I'm Liza. Hi, Liza. Hi. Hi, I'm Gabriel. Hi, Gabriel. So nice to meet you. Nice、We're、to meet you. So excited to tell you about our Vermont made products today. Parker, we've been manufacturing furniture in Vermont for over 80 years. Wow, that's a long time.、Mm -hmm. This is our beautiful Lindsay chest. Take a look at the dovetail joinery. Who does that anymore? We, we do. do. Parker, this is our Cooper table, and all of our pieces are custom made for each client.、Oh. Handcrafted and locally sourced maple and available in dozens of finishes. And hundreds of fabrics. Parker, what's wonderful about our company is we still make furniture in America. We like to say we're Vermont born, American made. Looking for more inspiration? You can find it in the pages of South Shore Home Life and Style. Beautiful imagery and thoughtfully curated stories showcasing fine home design and decor, top area restaurants, boutiques, arts, culture, and more. It's the lifestyle magazine celebrating the seaside communities south of Boston. Join seasoned editor Maria Allen and her talented team as they reveal the many reasons this region is such a special place to live, work, and visit. Available on newsstands now. To subscribe, visit SouthShoreHomeLifeAndStyle.com. If you know me, you know I love boats and planes. So, what could be better than a seaplane? Bill picked me up, and we had a smooth landing right into a wonderful night. That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. That was fabulous. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey good job.、Uh, good to see you. I brought her safely. <laughs> Hi, honey. How are you? Good to see you. You too. A little bouncy tonight. It's a little yeah, bouncy. It's gorgeous. That's so fun. Oh, my gosh. The trees. The cows, the water, it's、oh, just glorious up it's there. It's so beautiful. It is. Awesome. Phil got the party started with his specialty welcoming cocktail a country Manhattan whistle pig with vanilla. No,、nope, I'm not kidding. And then we'll pour a little of the. Oh, I love how that operates. A little of the recipe. And、in. the action on that is very cool. I didn't know that. And、uh, serve it up to.、Uh, You! <laughs> you you deserve it! <laughs> <laughs> Here's to a good day of flying, cooking, eating, and good friends. Cheers! Awesome. Cheers! I met Wendy back in her camp kitchen to start on the appetizers using many of the goodies we picked up during the day. The rest was all Wendy. After our little trip today,、mm -hmm. we, I think we talked about doing this. Yes, we did. So let's, let's pull together some jalapeno poppers.、Uh, we've had some working already in the pizza oven, but let's, let me show you how we do it.、Okay. So it's just you take a piece of the cheddar, you make it fit in there, and then you take the bacon、mm -hmm. and you wrap it. Very simple.、Mm. No toothpicks, no nothing.、Mm. Just like that.、Mm. And here you go. 
What other things are we going to make together? Um, actually, what we're going to do next is I have the um, the salmon. This is I call this is ridiculous, but I call this ho hum salmon. And the only reason I call it that is every single guest that comes to the lake goes, oh, please, can we have the salmon? And you're just like, oh, oh again? Do I have to cook that again? <laughs> it's so delicious, S though. Yeah, so it's a beautiful organic salmon that I marinate in uh, ginger, soy, maple syrup, mm. and garlic. And in the pizza oven, it almost becomes like brulee. Mm. It's delicious, medium rare in the middle with a brulee over the top. So what I do is I just take it out. I, I actually put every, all those things in a Vitamix. It becomes this beautiful, creamy oh, nice. marinade. So then I just place them on the tray. Actually, it looks like beautiful art in there right now. Yeah, I it does. Isn't that nice? Mm. Yeah, so I just like to get all the stuff off the bottom. Skin and, down. Yeah, skin down mm -hmm. because when we take it off of the tray, the skin is on the tray. And then, you know, just to make it really, really crazy, I throw a little brown sugar on the top. That way we almost get a creme brulee salmon. Mm. And then when you put it in 1100 degrees in the pizza oven, it happens very quickly. Take the coals out. There we go. Just knock them out. Turn it around. So I'd just like to thank everyone for coming out to Caspian tonight and spending another summer night at our my favorite, actually, place in the world and having all my favorite people here just makes it so much better. And Parker, thank you for making this happen so that all of us would get together one more time before Labor Day. An absolutely epic, epic time with my friend Wendy and all of her friends. I mean, planes, trains, automobiles, we've seen it all. It has been amazing. The cooking was delicious. You're so talented. Your home is beautiful. It has everything you need. It's just been delightful. That's Home Life and Style from Caspian Lake. Until next week, I'm Parker Kelly. Cheers. 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 Woo!